In celebration of Passover, Joe's Seafood Prime Steak and Stone Crab is offering a special multi-course menu of traditional dishes. And here in our Studio 41 kitchen with details is chef partner Justin DeGila. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate Thank you. this. Thank you for having you me. were giving us some lessons yeah. here <laughs> about when it comes to potatoes. But first, let's start broadly. You're offering a multi-course mm -hmm. Passover feast. Correct. Tell us about it. So we celebrate Passover and Rosh Hashanah every year. So not only Joe's, but all lettuce some lettuce entertaining restaurants. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a way to, you know, give something back to some of our uh, clientele. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's fun. You get to do a different cuisine just for a couple of days and, um, you know, challenges you, but it's, it's a good time. And make you guys do the work, which is the great thing, because you could either eat it in the restaurant or take it home. Of course. So we're doing it two ways this year. So dine in and carry out. But carry out, we give you reheating instructions. Oh, so that way you so can important. freshen it up. You can have all the family come over and you know take your time. Yeah. You said it challenges you. How does it challenge you? Well, every day in a busy restaurant, we're very fortunate. You know, just uh, spacing, really. Oh, okay. You know, you're bringing in a lot of different products you don't work mm -hmm. with all the time. Mm -hmm. But for me as a chef, it's always fun to work with something oh, yeah. different. We so gotta like, mix it up. Yeah. Correct, correct. And you're gonna show us how to make potato latkes, right? Potato latkes. Okay, so this, no problem. Okay. this um <laughs> so it's a little trick to it. So we actually just take a russet potato and wash it in a little bit of um, olive oil or vegetable oil and then season it with salt and pepper. And then we roast it for about 30 minutes. You're just par cooking it and you're trying to pull out some of the moisture. Yeah, because we were talking in the potato. break. I'm like, you salted it, but you're gonna peel it, so why did you salt it? <laughs> yeah, correct. So the salt's still gonna add some flavor, so we're still seasoning the potato. So once you have it baked and you let it cool down, and then we just peel it, and it peels real easy um, once you get going, the skin comes right so off. So you're not trying to get it mushy, in, in other words. Correct, because okay. now we're gonna use, you know, old school cheese grater. Yeah. Oh I yeah, just figured, I got one you know, of those everybody. in my house. Be careful, these can be Ooh. the knuckle busters, yes. right? Yes, yes they can. Mm -hmm. But just keep it towards the table, and if you par cook it, it's not turning into mashed potatoes exactly. right now. Exactly, you can and take it's a perfect. Look, look at that. Oh, is that how they make hash browns too? Correct. So oh. same thing. If you just do a raw potato and don't pull out some of the moisture, it just gets brown real quicky, mm -hmm. it's quick and yeah. soggy. Okay. So this way is a trick for your hash browns or your potato lackeys if you're making them at home. Okay, right. right. fantastic. So we just shred a little bit of potato. In that pan. And then you need a binding agent, so we just use some egg yolks. Just the yolks? Just the yolks. The egg uh, whites will just make it a little bit fluffy. Oh, it's nice and okay. intense yeah. here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I did pre saute a, a little bit of onions and just a little bit of butter and salt, um, salt and pepper. And then we have cornstarch. This is just a nice, uh, helps bind it mm -hmm. a little bit Even more, more so, so when you go to cook mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So just a little bit. And then we have some chives. What's the difference between onions and chives? Well, it's the same family. They're in the onion family. Mm -hmm. One just grows above ground, and the other one grows on the bottom. Yeah, because okay. it's like a green onion. It's the tip of a green onion, right? Correct. Yeah. So we have all those ingredients, and we're just going to mix them together. You just want to bind everything nice and together. Make it look so easy. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, you just yeah, do well, that. I mean, it's just that. Do that. if you think about it, I if you follow the instructions to it the tea, simple, it would right? be pretty yes, simple. Yes, so the, the cool thing is these these recipes have been passed down. These have been family recipes, so it's just not like Joe's is coming up with something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we do put a few twists on a couple of them, but mm -hmm. these are like the gefilte fish is a very traditional yeah. recipe. Mm -hmm. The matzo ball is very traditional. So now we have our potato, and what I did is we made our mixture, and then we added it to the ring mold. And then I have one trick. If you have Vegeline, you can just use the top and just push it down. Ah, so I get it nice, man. nice and flat. There you go. Because you're getting it nice round. and crispy. Yep. So here I have a little bit of butter and okay. just a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. And then we're just fire those off. Yeah, you just want to be careful. You don't want to splatter. And you yeah. don't want to overcrowd your pan so you get it nice and crusty. Oh, and good. it is going to take about three or four minutes on each side. Okay. And when it's finished, you should have a nice crusty laki. And Ooh. then we made some house-made uh, apple applesauce. Sauce. Oh, that yeah. looks so good. Very traditional. Some people a little sour cream, but uh, we serve it with um, applesauce. And we only have about a minute left, so I'll run through some of the other offerings as part of your Absolutely. Passover meal. Absolutely. So you start off uh, first with our gefilte fish. So it's just ground fish with some onions and a little beet horseradish. And then we have our two livers. This is a chicken liver and a mock liver. The mock liver is a vegetarian. Oh. It's made with onions, peas, walnuts, all ground up. Okay. And then uh, you have your matzo ball soup, very traditional. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to say, where's okay. the soup? Okay. You, you got to add that to that. Oh, that's there nice. You go. So we do this table side. Yeah. Oh, is. fantastic. And then you have your choice of entree, so a very traditional brisket. An herb roasted chicken, oh, that looks halibut good. with roasted peas and mm. a maitre d' butter, 
and then everybody gets the potato lockies and you get the ginger spiced um, carrots. Oh, yep. And then you get a, either the chocolate flourless cake mm -hmm. or you, key lime pie. You key know, lime just pie is my favorite. You're coming to Joe's, so we give you the option. Right? That's fantastic. <laughs> it looks and so good. So this goes um, until, uh, what was it, April 15th and 16th? 15th and 16th. So it's the two days before Easter. Mm -hmm. So it's Friday and Saturday. So we do recommend if you want our carry out to give us uh, by Wednesday, just so we can get it all prepared for you. We give you these nice containers. They go straight in the oven. Oh, perfect. Reheating instructions. And then otherwise, um, we're open for business as well as some other lettuce and Chinese restaurants. Oh, fantastic. Wonderful. So all the information you just saw there for Joe's, as you said, you know, order ahead because this is, takes the ease out of the holiday for oh, gives you ease on the holidays, ease. I should say. Yes, I love we, that. Yes, I love that as well. Thanks Thank so much, Chef. So we appreciate it. Of course. It. Thank you for having me.